Hello there, thanks for joining me. And today's tutorial, I'm going to tie up a soft tackle pattern here. Yeah, I simply called the uh, partridge and squirrel soft tackle. It just consists of gray partridge for the tail, the hackle, and the body is a, a blend of gray squirrel and a small fine flat gold tinsel for the rib. Simple tie, but we all know how effective soft tackles are, so. I thought I'd give this guy a tie, so we'll get him out of the vise, a new hook in, and I'll get going here. And I'm tying it on the bigger size here, a size 10 for the video. You can tie it down to like a 16. So we'll get that guy locked in the vise here. Okay. Now, for thread I'm using Danville and a 6 aught brown. So we'll just start right behind the eye and we're going to wrap the thread base back towards the bend. Get that going back there. And we'll stop just to boot to the verb. Snip off that tag in. And we'll proceed back to the verb here and stop there right in front of it. Now the tail here, I'm just going to pull off a few gray partridge fibers for the tail. And you don't need a whole lot, just a few. Okay. Okay, just bear with me, folks. I get some off here. Okay. Tie those in. Right on top here. I'm going to wrap back a ways onto those. Okay, that's not exactly what I want. Looking for that piece there didn't quite cooperate with me, so I'm just going to pull off a few here. Don't want too thick of a tail on them. All right, just a sparse tail. There we go. Now we'll come up around, pinch that on the top, just like so, and wrap back. All right, that looks good there. Secure that down, wrapping forward. All right, there's our tail. Now the tinsel rib, just a really small, fine mylar tinsel, gold and silver on one on either side there. So we want the gold side showing. So I'll tie that gold side down, and I'm going to tie it on your side, the hook, the far side to be here. Tie that on the side. Right back to in front of our tail. And then wrap forward once again. We'll stop our thread. Okay, now. The body is a squirrel dubbing blend of just squirrel dub with a little bit of a UV flash in it there. I really like that dubbing combination. I use it in a lot of flies. And we'll put a little wax on the thread. Dub a nice slender noodle here all the way down the thread. Just try to get that on there nice and tight. Okay. Okie dokie. And I'll dub a touch more on there. And we'll see if that'll do the whole body or not here in a second. If not, you can always add more. I always wrap back first and then we're going to go right in front of our tail there and proceed forward. You can see how nice and buggy that is which makes a very nice fly. Okay, a little more wax and a touch more dubbing here. Finish this guy off. Okay. Alrighty, now we'll stub that on, just like so, and we'll stop our thread there, okay. Now we're going to wrap that tinsel, and I'm going to counter wrap that, so we're going to come in and we'll get about, usually about five or six wraps here. I'm off. Now, a little tip I'm going to 
share with you with tinsel you probably see me doing a, a lot of my videos which I do almost every time I tie off tinsel instead of just tying off with a couple wraps and doing your scissors and trimming it I always tie it down with a few secure wraps and fold it back then I wrap my thread back on top of that tinsel and that's folding the tinsel back on itself and it, and it locks it in and traps it in there and there's no way that tinsel can pull out when you're fishing the fly or catching fish on it and you can do that just about any fly that you're using tinsel for you just fold it back and then wrap back over it, it just locks it in there really nice and tight so I just thought I'd throw that, show you that little trick there, a little tip if you haven't already known okay last step is our hackle and I have a great partridge hackle here ready to tie in got the tip ready there all right we'll tie him in by the tip right here and same as well with what these I'll ta also take the uh, tip of that hackle and fold that back as well and that trap wrap method or folding it back in on materials and locking them in no matter what material you're doing that with will make that that fly much more durable that's the whole key eh so anyhow okay now I'll grab my hackle pliers and grab this stem here stroke those fibers back bring that around okay wrap that forward and I'll probably get about two two and a half wraps here and then I'll tie this guy off Okay, with a couple securing wraps. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay, another same thing again. I'm gonna wrap forward a couple wraps, then pull everything back, including that stem, and I'm gonna wrap back on it. Just like so. There we go. Got a little straight fiber there. Then you can just take that stem and give it a little wiggle, a little pull, it should snap off, there we go. If not, you can just trim it. Alrighty, just making sure those hackles are even around there, it looks good. Alright, now I'm just going to tidy up the head a bit and uh, we'll finish this guy and he'll be done. Alright, okay, that looks pretty good there, just a few more wraps back. All right, we'll do a four or five turn whip finish here. Okay. All righty, snug that down nice and tight. Come in and snip that thread. All right, there we have it. Another size 10, partridge and squirrel soft tackle. Very simple tie, but we like I say, we know how effective these soft tackle patterns are. The trout love them. So, the last step is to bring my bone dry solar res resin in here for the head of the fly. And I'll coat those thread wraps. All the way around here. There we go. Now cure him up real quick. Just give him a little spin around here. Alrighty. Well there we have it folks. He's a done deal. And if you have the materials, tie this guy up and add him to the box for sure. They're very effective patterns, soft tackles as we know. I'll see if I can get a close up here for you. Okay, there we go. That's still pretty focused there. It looks alright. Okay. Nice and buggy fly too with the... Uh, sometimes what I'll do is just take my little Velcro brush here and just give it a little brush, brush back like so just to stir up a few of those, more of those fibers to make it a little more buggy but anyhow a very simple pattern but effective fly to tie and like always I want to thank 
each and every one of you for watching my videos and uh, if you're a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more in the future don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the uh, little bell there to uh, get informed when I put new videos up and also throw in a like too if you wish appreciate that all a great deal so until next time everyone happy tying out there stay safe I shall see you all again soon, and so long for now, folks.